Hi, this is Kat, and you're watching Triple Threat Sports. We're back with another edition of Triple Threat Sports, and today, for today's episode, we're going to take a little bit of a different tact. We're going to look at the free agent pitches that have been signed and that have stood out there this offseason. Everyone knew coming into the offseason that uh, if Japanese pitcher Masahiro Tanaka was posted, and he was, uh, under a new posting system, everyone figured he would get the biggest contract, and he has, as far as free agent pitchers go. Uh, Clayton Kershaw got a huge contract, but he had, he had resigned, he wasn't a free agent. The Yankees signed Tanaka for $150 million, and that was to be expected, even though he's never thrown a pitch in the major leagues, and frankly, I hope he sucks, because he pitches for the Yankees. Some of the other pitchers that are out there, Phil Hughes was signed with the Twins, uh, three years, $24 million, in the hopes that he will get out of Yan Yankee Stadium and he will become a, he's a fly ball pitcher, and maybe a more pitcher-friendly ballpark would help him out. And then, recently, uh, last week, maybe 10 days ago, Hugardo Jimenez was signed by the Baltimore Orioles for four years at $50 million. And Jimenez is a pitcher, he's been, he's been up and down, he had a really good year with Colorado several years ago. He was traded to Cleveland for some prospects, and the trade looked like it was going to be a dud for both sides because nothing panned out. Jimenez was awful. He was awful in 2012 and 2011, 2011. Now, this past year, he had a good season, and he was rewarded with a four-year, $50 million contract, and he's about the same, about 30 years old. Now, here's the point. There's another pitcher still on the market. Still right now, spring training has begun. Spring training games are now on TV. There's a pitcher on the market who I regarded as the best pitcher of the offseason, as far as free agents goes, and that's Irving Santana. Just get a sense of Urban Santana. He's 31 years old. He's, over the past six years, he's he's thrown over 200 innings, five of the last six years. He's ERA plus, which is a metric that measures uh, a pitcher's performance against a league average, league average being 100. Irving Santana's ERA plus over the past six years, four, three of the last six years, it was over 110. That means he's been 10% better than league average three of the past six years. And in fact, he's been over 20% better than league average two of the past six years. He's really only had one down year, and that was 2012 for the Angels. Last year, he was with, was with Kansas City Royals. The Kansas City Royals had a good year. I frankly thought, and I still believe, he's the best pitcher of the free agent market. It's ridiculous that he hasn't been signed yet. Now, under the, the new CBA, of course, there's the, there's the draft pick compensation where if you sign a, uh, a free agent who was given a qualifying offer by the team that they coming from, if they get that qualifying offer and you sign them as a free agent, you, you lose a first-round draft pick. But there's plenty of teams out there with low first-round draft picks that can use Irving Santana. It's frankly a disgrace that he has not been given a contract. He's the best pitcher out there on the free agent market. Whatever team signs this guy is in for, the benefits are immense. 200 innings. Better than 10% league average. Much better pitcher than Ogaro Jimenez. Much better pitcher than Phil Hughes. And the latest today is Santana, he wants a contract of four years, $50 million. Which is the same deal that Jimenez got. And he's a better pitcher than Jimenez. So, I would suggest to, to the Baltimore Orioles or the Minnesota Twins or somebody somebody sign this guy. Okay, He's the best pitcher out there. He was the best pitcher on the market before the season started. He's still the best pitcher and he's still on the market. It's a disgrace he's not been signed. He will be signed soon. And whatever team signs him is getting a top of the rotation pitcher. It should happen soon and I expect it will. Thank you. Hi, I'm Lionel S. L. Ray and I approve this message.